Hello everyone. I'm going to talk today about uh, planting methods and planting cover crops. A lot of different ways farmers have been uh, establishing cover crops, but I think the important thing that farmers uh, need to consider is picking the method that is going to be best suited for your farming system. A uh, lot, lot of different tools, a lot of different things, a lot of new things on, on, uh, on the horizon about getting these cover crops established, but we're going to talk about a couple methods here. And first we're going to talk about the, the, the grain drill. You know, the grain drill is probably one of the more common ways that cover crops are established. And farmers are drilling in cover crops either ahead or behind their cash crop. And one of the nice things about a drill is, first of all, the farmer already owns the drill. Uh, you get good seed placement. Uh, we, get, we get pretty good uh, ability to, to uh, uh, calibrate so we get, get uh, accurate rates accurate placement and we can generally do it in a very timely manner and, and a lot of these drills are, are uh, very well set up and very suitable to plant cover crops with. Uh, the next tool that we're going to talk about is the regular planter and this is just a regular corn planter and farmers are more and more using this type of tool to establish a cover crop and one of the advantages of using a planter is we have such control over our seed rates, our seed placement, our seed closure and those types of things. Uh, one of the, an advantage that farmers are finding that when we have that good singulation, when we have the good placement, we can actually lower our seeding rate a little bit so we can save a little bit of money on, on our cover crop seed. Some of the newer innovations that farmers are experimenting with and, and experimenting very successfully is they're actually planting cover crops in, in 30 inch rows and then they're going back in the following spring and planting their cash crop between the rows uh, to try to have some live roots growing uh, throughout the whole season, throughout the whole year. So a lot of innovations with planting cover crops and farmers are, in, if, uh, if they want, they're going through and, and planting 30 inch rows, going back and planting again uh, down the middle to get a, a 15 inch row in their cover crop. The other method, uh, the last methods that we're gonna talk about is broadcast seeding. Uh, broadcast seeding really is, is basically spreading seed on top of, of the soil. Now farmers are doing it in different ways. Some of them are putting on it in, in the fall. They're putting it on, mixing their cover crop seed with their fertilizer where they do some of the variable rate applications. Uh, and then they're maybe doing a light tillage to get some seed soil contact uh, with that cover crop seed. Uh, some of the newer methods that people are, are actually using, and this is an example of a rotary hoe that's actually been adapted uh, to, to establish cover crops in standing crops. Now this particular tool is a rotary hoe with a Gandhi seeder on top where, where it allows us to go in on you know, V4 to V6 corn and get that cover crop established in that a uh, little bit earlier in that growing crop. And in our northern climates, our, our, uh, our window to plant cover crops is pretty narrow sometimes, especially after harvest. So we can get that cover crop established, uh, get a green cover on that soil to protect that soil over winter. And what we do and we establish it in, in uh, cover crops, in our growing crops, it gives us a chance to get that cover crop established. Now another method that people are using to establish in uh, growing crops, for corn for example, farmers are going in with high boys in the standing crop. They're going aerial seeding, they're flying on cover crops in, in the corn. In, in the corn, they're usually waiting approximately four to six weeks before harvest. Uh, as that crop starts to senesce and die down, it allows the sun to get in and kind of get, allows that cover crop to get established and growing. One of the challenges is, you know, farmers like to do this in soybeans. So when we start aerial applying or broadcasting in ways in soybeans, we really have to wait and make sure that we don't get that cover crop established too quick. Uh, we usually wait and try to apply that seed just before leaf drop. But, and we also, another methods we have, we have frost seeding, we have slurry seeding. The important thing is, is to use the method that's best suited for your farm, use the method that's gonna get you successful establishment of that cover crop so you get the success and the results you're looking for.